Meet Headache Stencil, a street artist who uses spray cans to satirise Thailand's ruling army. Since the 2014 military coup, he's led a movement of political artists who are finding ways to avoid the country's strict censorship rules. A pro-army party of former generals is heavily tipped to win this month's general election. But Headache hopes his message will shake up the establishment. The current government has stayed longer than normal. I've seen many military supporters are now unwilling to support them. I think this is a turning point. The public is starting to listen, thanks to bands like Rap Against Dictatorship. Their anthem condemning corruption, political impunity and a growing social divide went viral with close to 60 million views. The rap troupe believe their song's popularity is the only reason they aren't in jail. Political discussion is good and it should be free. No one should fear being arrested or getting thrown into jail for talking about politics. Laws which protect the ruling military and monarchy from criticism have been used on an unprecedented scale since the army took over. Shortly after the coup, actress Pontip Mankong was imprisoned for two and a half years for performing in a university play that was interpreted as criticising the royal family. Our play is very dangerous for, for them because we talk about something that they don't want people to know about that. In this climate of crackdowns and censorship on artists, Thailand has actually hosted four big art expos in the past year, including the Bangkok Biennale. But curators say they operate in a climate of fear, where soldiers have raided galleries and removed artworks critical of the military. Government officials argue censorship is needed to maintain peace in a polarised political landscape. Thai people have a lot of freedom. There's barely any problem. But whenever you're leaning towards one side, slandering someone, and present false information as fact, we take it seriously. But local artists say repression will only lead to more rebellion, rap and rhymes. Drew Ambrose, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.